but you're the worst What the hell was we thinking? Compromise for no reason Cause we ain't got shit in common did you miss me? Well, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start the tutorial on this invisible locks on men. Get into it. All right. So I'm going to start off by blow drying his hair all the way through. You want to try to get it as straight as possible with the blow dryer. Um, so just please make sure you're doing this completely thoroughly. Now we're going to go ahead and part off our hair. Um, so what I did was part his hair um, to make out the back section. Um, I try to get it as straight as possible. And I um, used the edge control, of course, to make sure my part was neat. Y'all know this is my brother, so he is tender-headed, okay? Y'all gonna see him keep scrunching his face up throughout this video because he is tender-headed. I do not be understanding y'all grown men. But anyway... For some reason, my camera was not as clear during the beginning of the video uh, where I was trying to show you guys um, um, how to do these twists. But towards the end, you will get a um, a more in-depth picture or view on how I can um, do these invisible twists. Um, so I'm just combing the um, edge control through to make sure that it is um throughout the hair i need the hair to be molded um you want to make sure that when you're parting the section down the middle that the hair is even on both sides you do not want to have two twists that do not look the same okay they need to be the same in size so you're doing a flat twist i don't know how to do a tutorial on how to do a flat twist there may be some tutorials on youtube on how to do that um, I can try if you guys want a tutorial on how to do flat twists. I can try to do that for you. So what I'm doing is um, I did this. I did his twist two times before I decided which way I was going to start twisting them. So the best way to do it is to twist the hair going both sections going the same way, not going towards each other. So you know the first twist I twisted towards the right, then the second one I twisted towards the left. For me, it's better to twist them going the exact same way, which would be towards the right. You want to try to make sure you're twisting all the way down to the end, your flat twist, before you twist them to make a two-strand twist. Um, So just continue to watch. And once we get to the closer and um, part of the video, I'll come back um, to be more in detail with you guys. But please make sure, I'm not going to say this again, that you're molding. Also, make sure you do not put edge control on the part that um, the guys use to get their hair shaped up. I didn't put any edge control on the back of his head or in the front of his hairline, okay? Do not touch those parts whatsoever because once they finish getting their hair braided, twisted, or whatever, they go to the barbershop to get shaped up. So this is a little closer. As you can see, I'm twisting towards the right. I do make sure I comb through the ends to make sure that it's completely neat. No little um, knots or tangles. Um, I also use the silver part of the rat tail comb to make sure all the hair is tucked in on the flat twist. And then when you do your two strand twist, you want to make sure you are twisting tight. So you want to still twist the hair the same way that you did the flat twist. So I'm twisting the flat twist towards the right. And then as I'm doing this two strand twist, I'm still twisting towards those individual pieces towards the right. It's, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. Okay. So just, just keep on watching. Hopefully this video helps you guys. Um, then um, I didn't have to add any hair to his hair because it's, um, you know, he has length to his hair. So I didn't have to add any hair, but you guys may come, ac come across some clients that would like for you to add, um, you know, the, I think they use the Marley hair when they're doing these two strand twists to give them some length. And you know what's crazy? I think that that matches the men's hair texture a whole lot better um, anyway, especially when they have this 4C type of hair. I'm also doing the brick method part. So... You can see the two strand twist or uh, of the flat twist part is in the middle between one um section of twist. You'll get to see. So, you know, use that right the end of that rat tail comb to make sure that all the hair is tucked in that 
that flat twist is nice and flat and tight. The hair is neat. And there's no knots, lumps, clumps, bumps, or rumps. It's like, no. <laughs> but anyway, just, just, you know, get the gist of it and just watch. Okay? It's kind of easy once you get the hang of it. It's hard when you first start, especially if you don't know how to do a flat twist. Everybody don't know how to do a flat twist. And I'm not even um, knocking nobody, but I've been seeing some of y'all and y'all invisible, invisible locks. They're not invisible locks because y'all just are not flat twisting at all. Y'all just mold that hair down and start doing a damn two-strand twist. That's not what the style is. The style is flat twist to two-strand twist. So you got to have flat twist at the top. So you see how I'm just twisting the hair on the scalp. That's how you kind of do a flat twist. You just want to twist the hair on the scalp. Use that rat tail comb. Make sure all the hair is intact and twisted nice and tightly. I'm combing the ends to make sure that it is completely neat. So that way when I do my two strand twist, uh, I don't. it's completely neat and it's not looking a mess. So here we go. So I'm twisting towards that right. Then I take that twist and I twist it over the left tightly. Okay. And you can take and push it up as you're doing your two-strand twist. That way you know that it is tight. You just want to make sure your two-strand twist is tight. Okay? And when I finish, I do put the hair clips on the end. Um, just so that it can stay um, lay flat to his head. Because I'm twisting and I'm standing. The way I'm standing, I'm holding the twist outwards towards my body. The twist will point outwards. And your client does not want to walk around looking like Coolio. So apply some clips to their head so that twists can lay flat. Now I'm going to stop talking and y'all can just watch. Oh, key point here. You guys see that I have moved his hairline out of the way. No product is on where he gets a shape up. I moved that out before I do anything there. All right, now I'm going to shut up now so y'all can watch. <laughs>
then we're done. This is the final look. So I did take some Erica J um, hair growth oil, the butterfly growth oil, and I applied that all over his scalp. I took some spritz and sprayed that on his hair. Then I took some oil sheen and sprayed that on his hair. Um, then you can go and rub that through. I guess he took a little dance break or whatever you call it. <laughs> and this is what we ended up with. And he keeps coming back to get this style. Like he loves this style. The look turned out bomb. Okay. The look turned out great. So I know you guys kind of miss me. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If there are any other um, hairstyles that you would like to see me do on my brother, let me know. And we'll get that video popping.